everybody, it's Sam at Mix.Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I was looking back through some old tutorials and I saw my Twist and Pop card and it had been over two years since I've done that card so I thought, right, let's redo it. So I've, it's basically the same one but because we're going into a new decade and there are four panels, the, you know, the numbers 2020 work really well with this style card and I do like to send out maybe three or four New Year's cards and I kind of combine them as a thank you card as well. So it's a six by six card. I've got this really fun embossing folder um, design on the front. Now I do want to add some balloons onto this but my particular balloon die I can't find it anywhere and I've got a feeling it's gone down behind my unit and it's not the easiest thing to just move so the photos may get updated in the blog. Basically it's six by six card, you open it up and this pops out and I think it works really well. I've gone for a bit more of a masculine tone with this one with the silver and the blue so I've got happy new year 2020 the best is yet to come and I just, I love it, really, really do. It closes really nicely. I love these cards, they're so fun. And then on the back it says, this is a time of joy, a time for love and cheer, a time for making memories to last throughout the year. So you've got a nice space there to write your message. But how fun is that? Love it. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna go for black and gold. Um, the stamps that I've used, New Year is not something I have a lot of stamps for because I just, yeah, generally, it's not something that's very popular. But this is an old Stamping Up one, Frosted Medallion. So I've just used the Happy New Year and then you've got the best is yet to come. Wishing you the happiest of days and this is a time of joy and the one that I said before. So that's what I'm using there. Then the embossing folder is this one here and I cannot think for the life of me where it was from. So if anybody recognises it, it's an unbranded one. I think it might have even been in a magazine. That's usually where things like this have come from, but I've not marked it. It doesn't say, usually they are design objectives, which is do crafts, um, but this one hasn't got that on there, so it's not that, but anyway, any fun, you know, kind of celebration style um, embossing folders will be good for this. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and done lots of the pieces. I've already got my numbers here with 2020. Okay, so any large dies, you can do these on your cutting machines. I can't actually show these numbers yet because they are a brand new release which will be out very, very soon but um, I was eager to use them. But yeah, any number dies you can use for those. And then I've already gone ahead and you can see that, look at these gorgeous patterns I'm using. So that's gonna go on the back. It's a really cool holographic, crazy mirrored cardstock. And then I've just done the gold again with that embossing folder. So the sizes of them, so they're your mats. So you want two for the inside, one for the front, and then one for the back. Um, so you want four pieces that are five and three quarters squared. And then for your card base, you want a six by six card blank or cut it from a piece of 12 by six, cut a piece to 12 by six, and then along the 12 inch side, just score it six and fold in half and that'll give you your card blank. For the concertina piece that pops out, this is a piece of 11 by three and three quarters. And along the 11 inch side, you want to score at two and three quarters and eight and a quarter and then flip it over and score it eight, okay? And then you will just fold the whole thing in half and then fold the two outer ones like so. So you will have this shape, okay? And then for the mechanism to make it all pop, you want a piece of eight by three and a half. Along the three and a half side, you want to score at one and three quarters, so just right down through the middle. And then along the eight inch side, you want to put a little marker at two and a quarter and five and three quarters. And you want to score at four inches. And then just flip it over and do an again another little marker at two and a quarter. And one I've done before is a birthday card style. I would have linked it, it would have already popped up here. But if you click on that, you'll be able to see that one as well. Then for the mats and layers for the pop-up piece, so the gold here is two and a half by three and a half, and then the white piece is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And you want four of each of those sizes. And like I said, I've just done the 20, 20, which I think looks really, really nice. Okay, so that's all the pieces that you need. And then I've also gone ahead and just stamped my little sentiments and stuff there. Okay, so first of all, because then this can dry whilst we're working on the other pieces, you want to stick all your mats and layers. So I'm going to have this one here. Again, eventually there will be balloons on the front of this. But one's going to go there, then the other embossed one is going to go there. This one's going to go here, what, like that. So I was just checking that they are the right way, because, yeah, you can kind of have them. No, it is that way. And then you're going to have, for me, it's going to be this holographic one on the back there, and I will put another mat 
on top of that for me to write my message. So I'm going to stick all of those down. Okay, so that's what you should have. So that's now all ready for me to, you know, stick stuff onto in a moment. But I'm going to let that kind of dry because I'm using the Kalau and that just takes a little few minutes just to set. So next we will do this one here. So you might as well actually stick these on as well. So, you know, again, check out the birthday one because you might not want to do a New Year card. The birthday one I'd done, I don't think what I put on that. It was just different birthday. I think it was balloons. Um, and things like that on it. It was really nice. It was um, like blues and yellows and reds. It was a really bright one. So I'm just going to stick these on here. Okay, so now that's all ready. And then we want this piece here. So you will have your notches along the top here. There's that four inch score line. This is along the eight inch piece. You've got a notch there, a notch there, a notch there, and a notch there. You can already see what I've done is I've joined them together to form a cross. So you just want to lay your metal ruler down, grab your stylus and just line up those little notches and just score a line. And you want it to go right through the crossover there from your four and your halfway score line here. And then again, do the same on that side. So just join them up. Okay. And then just go and fold and burnish those score lines. Also do the one in the middle and that long one as well so everything's folded and then what you want to do is kind of bring it fold it but push in this these score lines here and then push it up so it forms a house like so and you want to make sure that they sit together and if you grab your bone folder if you feel you need to kind of manipulate it a bit and keep that pushed in just rework those side pieces there but you want to make sure you get something like that so again I'll just bring it out you're just pushing in these score lines so they become valley and then just bring them in like so okay then what you want to do pop it on this side so it's in that position with your ruler you just want to come up one and a quarter inches and I've just put a little pencil line just there and then I'm going to use my grid just to make sure I keep everything straight and then I'm just going to draw a line there okay then just flip it over so you're now working on that one and again just come up one and a quarter which I've already done there and then again just to keep that all nice and straight with my grid I'm just going to join that up okay and basically now within that center that section on each piece you're going to add your glue and that's how we're going to stick it all together so with this piece here fold it all down so you've got the open end facing you we're going to be sticking the two closed pieces in a, an M shape it's the the M bottom piece here that we're going to stick in okay so I'll keep that there for a minute I'm going to use liquid glue I used double-sided tape before so you know find what works best for you you might want to use a double-sided tape so you can do one at a time I'm actually going to put the glue on both sides and do it all together so you know between the two videos have a look at them and you can kind of see then it's been a really popular video because I actually found a way to make this mechanism piece as one piece just on its own like this rather than one whole like piece that other tutorials have done so um, it has been a, a popular tutorial so yeah do go and check it out so now what you want to do is we're going to be sticking keeping you want to keep this sandwich remember you've got the open end facing you so that's in my you know my hand here you're going to lift that apart and you're going to pop this inside okay the whole piece is going in there all right and then just stick it so that you have an equal overhang because I've got the liquid glue I've got a bit of time to wiggle but you just want to make sure you see that I've got a little overhang here and a little overhang there and that's what you want and just spend a moment just sticking that down you don't want any glue to be visible so you want to make sure that you bring it in to that pencil line that you created but just yeah just stick that down and you can start to see when you open it up how this is all going to work and then when we go to close it and obviously this is all going to be, I'm um, sorry, this bit here is what we're going to stick inside our card. All right, so I'm just going to let that dry for a minute. Okay, next you want to open up your card, make sure everything's facing the right way. And you're going to stick this inside here with the point going up to that, that fold, that score line there. So you want to add some liquid glue. Now, usually I don't 
recommend using a liquid glue with any kind of like smooth surface so those glitter cardstock however this is the no actually well like, you can use that one but I went to use this one the only reason I've done this one is because my dad um, uses this to make some jewelry that he's doing and he's used it to secure all kinds of things and it's brilliant so I'm sure the Kalau will work um, because it's I've said that they're both the same but because I've used this one I'm going to use this one again but I'm just going to put a layer on here otherwise use red tape use your red you know your double sided tape because that's very strong but you just want to cover the triangle section both triangles like so if you want to do one at a time you can so I'm going to keep that on its side because that's nearly gone so I'll just do one side just to show you and you're going to stick it down within you want to try and get it in the center and straight fold it so that you make you know you're not gonna you haven't gone over that score line last thing you want is it to set and then find that you can't close your card but just make sure it's you know it's kind of even here I think that's about right and you've got a nice even kind of line here oh that is obviously got an air big air bubble in it so again just repeat and put some more in there you don't try not to go too mad with it because what you don't want is the glue oozing all out onto the other parts of the card stock because you don't want anything else sticking apart from this triangle otherwise it's just going to mess up your mechanism and then you just want to close the whole card down and just kind of you know keep some pressure on that um, for a few minutes until everything's you know set and you'll know when you go to lift it if any of it starts to lift then it's not ready don't don't move it okay I think that's ready and then just open it up and it will pop out I love it you, knew, you do need to make sure that that whole triangle is completely stuck. Can you see my triangle in there? You know, if any of your corners are lifting, it will affect the mechanism. It might catch. You need to make sure that you put your glue right up to the edges there. So you saw I kind of spread it out with my finger. And I've only used that glue because I've used this shiny surface. So if, you're, if yours is normal paper, cardstock, just use a normal, you know, um, a normal paper glue you know it will be okay but just make sure that you get it right up to the corners and now you can see you get a really nice closure okay just checking that one in there yeah that one's just lifting a little bit it will make all the difference because it balances the whole thing out so I'm just making sure that's right in there okay and it also does stand up I mean that's a little bit further back this one here Although they are the same size, let me just double check. Yeah, see that one kind of sits up a little bit more. I'm not entirely sure why, because they're exactly the same measurements. Although that one there. There we go. But they do stand up, so they've got an, they have got a nice profile. And then what I'm going to do with these ones is just using some foam, just to lift them a little bit. I'm going to pop two on that one. And two on that one and I'm just going to stick one at the top and one at the bottom because there's a lot I mean it's quite simple in terms of decoration inside but because there's so much going on with this pop out piece and then the lovely embossing folder you know I don't think it needs too much and gold and black is always you know good um, new year colours so I thought it worked really well and I like this happy new year and then the best is yet to come I just think that's a really nice one and there you have it. I mean, it literally is kind of reflecting all over my craft room right now when that hits the light, especially this one here with that cool holographic pattern. I think it's lovely. I think it's a really nice, happy card to give somebody to welcome in a brand new decade. We've got lots of fun things, you know, going on within our family and 2020 is already looking like a good year. So, yeah, I'm excited about this one. And then it just closes up. Mine is still drying. So, I, you know, definitely make sure even go away and maybe leave it for half an hour or so. And because I've got that shiny surface, mine is just obviously going to take a little bit longer. But you can see there it works brilliantly. And with this one that's really set hard, it's just look brilliant i love it so yeah i hope you enjoy it too go check out that other tutorial if you don't want to do the new year style and you just want a bit of inspiration for a birthday style but i can't wait to give these out i'm going to make two more and hopefully find my balloon die so thank you for watching and a happy 2020 to you all see you soon bye